Here she is at a rally in Atlanta. See if you can recognize the accent. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Lady, who are you trying to be? That was so Obama-like. That was so, you could hear him in that sentence. It was like, have you been listening? Have you been watching the greatest orators clips and being like, yeah, I can mimic this. People it's, will love me too. It's a bit like when um, Alexandra uh, Ocasio-Cortez goes and speaks in the Bronx and she really turns on her hood voice, right? Like, the, the, and she's not the first <laughs> one who's who's done it. But see, the, the thing is that she has, as we just showed, she's previously talked about her Indian heritage. And she does have black heritage in that her father was a Jamaican African man, but what they're doing is duplicitous. They refer to her as black as though it's inferring that she is African American, which she is not. I mean, you trace her lineage back. Uh, her father or forebears were not brought to America as slaves. That's not what we're talking about here. Her father is from Jamaica, but they know what they're doing when they set her up as a black man. As a black woman, sorry. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious me. Don't run with that headline. Don't run with that headline. Hey, if they thought but, it would get them more votes, look, I'm sure well, they'd well, try that, it that, on. That is quite true. And First look, trans black and, president. And, and, and look, you never know these days, she may wake up tomorrow and identify as a black man. <laughs> Oh, but they, but they know they know exactly what they are doing when they when they run with it. But she scarcely talks about her Indian heritage anymore, mm. and that's the point that Trump was trying to make. Is she's done this sort of full pivot from the Indian bit to the black bit because she's decided that being black is more electorally advantageous to to trumpet that around. <laughs> the only thing I have to say though ab about. Trump, I mean, he fronted up to the, the National Association of, of Black Journalists and, and I'm assuming that when the, um, the word was sent out to the Dems that they could have someone there, they were assuming it would be Joe Biden and um, Kamala has since taken over that position and, and is off doing her own thing. But the, the only thing that worries me about it is that he should have had the, the presence of mind to know that that answer was not going to play well in front of that audience. Like, it just wasn't going to land. And you could hear the reaction of the crowd when he did it. The point he is making is not wrong. It probably just wasn't the right time to make it in front of that crowd, I think. So that